Okay, I'm back. Well, silly me, I just forgot the zooms right there on the screen. I guess I drug my finger across the screen and zoomed in. But uh, so I have my jumpers back on my heater again, and I have the motor assembled again. I have the uh, its original rotor taken out. I always forget the uh, right terms, but rotor. I know it's a rotor because it rotates. But the stator. Uh, let's see, now I forgot the word stator and uh, the other one. Anyway, I, I always forget which one's which. Anyway, but with um, if I can get this in the light right or not, you can kind of see that there. It moves just as much. But this is the one out of the new motor, the one that has the bad windings, the bad electromagnet. It won't do anything. But this one, I, actually, it was spinning good. I think the only thing that was ever wrong with this this heater. Then I bought a whole new one, a whole new one to replace because parts are so expensive. The first time, and I found that out for sure again this time, was the uh, thermal fuse. This thermal fuse, thermal fuse. That one right there. It's bad, and so is the one in my new one. But the motor's bad in the new one too. So uh, at least, well, as far as I, I mean, I can't get it to do anything. And this one, it was working. You know, if I if <laughs> if it won't run now, I'm fixing to test it. I haven't. That's what I'm. If it doesn't run now, I'll know that that's the part that's bad. You know, I was assuming it was the. Uh, but I don't think that. I don't think it would be the rotor. Let's plug it in and see. Let's see. Make sure I'm in a safe. All this is live and hot, so I got to be careful here. So plug it in. Okay, it's spinning. Oh. It's about the same as it was before. There's no way to stop it. I mean, so it's not all that wore out. Getting heat pretty quickly. And, of course, I don't know what these can... Ooh, what, of course, I wouldn't have gotten shocked, but I would have got... Could have got burned. Because that's going to get hot. Just like... That's the thing about these... Uh, these are made to stand the heat, you know. They, they're in the circuit of the uh, heat coils. So... But I, I, it's kind of crazy, isn't it? I mean, how... Imagining how they designed this is pretty cool to design for something. Of course, stuff like this has been around for hundreds, hundreds of years, hundred, hundreds of years, hundred and hundred fifty years or so. Uh, but the uh, it can stand the heat. Yet on the inside, if there's too much either heat or wattage drawn on it, well, either probably a combination, I guess. But uh, It'll, it'll burn up inside. It still stays together. You know, this didn't uh, come apart. I'm going to put this this one out of the new one in there since now I know the motor works. I'm going to put it in there and see if it'll make it go. What if what if it wasn't actually bad? I, I, I believe that they're bad because whenever I do a continuity test, I get nothing. But, I mean, for all I know, there's some things that don't... Uh, they don't make contact, uh, you know, that have... Uh, Little contest like this inside, they don't make contact till there's power put on them. So, uh, you know, I don't know, I don't know for sure. So I'm gonna, well, that's the next thing I'm gonna do is try that. I'll leave this motor put together like it is, but I think I'm gonna put it back to its normal state. I don't see any reason to do it that way since it doesn't seem to run any different with this one in it than the one that came with it. I think the one that came with it's probably would be the best one to have in it. But I think maybe a couple of years, two and a half years ago, or two, almost three years ago, when this went out and I bought a whole new, I paid $63 and change, but maybe, you know, well, that was the whole top price. That's what it said. Well, I don't know if that shows you your tax and stuff. I don't I don't think there was any tax on Amazon for me, but uh, $63 and something is what I paid for it on March 20, March, yeah, March 2014. And it didn't last but a little over a year. It only has a year warranty on the heater parts for this Braun brand here. And uh, anyway, then we went last winter with just the space heater, and we got one out again. And I'm like, I need to gotta do something about this, you know. So, uh, but this all the heating element looks good on this too. I've got it all taken apart now. I have all the electric connections off of it and everything. <laughs> I think it's a good idea to leave this one like it is just so I don't forget how things go. But uh, it, I would go ahead and use a new one, uh, I think. Because I think the heater 
the heater core heater core the heater heating element in this one seems to show less signs of you know age and they get droopy and they'll get brittle and they'll finally break you know if you've ever seen the ones I've really seen are dryers that were broke I've never I don't know that I've ever seen one of this size a small one like this that was heated to the point that it broke but the uh, this is the one where I believe the windings are bad I can't get uh, I can't get any uh, well I don't think I got it I don't get it out of either one of them so I was doing a continuity test you know on the on the wind, on the motor windings here and I didn't get no beep so I thought well they must be bad and there must be an open circuit inside of there somewhere but uh, this one I believe will do the same thing and it works I'll check that in a minute but uh, can't do it I can't hold it, all that stuff and do it on the camera so okay I'll come back once I get figured out what I'm going to do.